Oh, wow. Okay. So I remember that like it was yesterday. Uh, I had a salon and I wanted more. I wanted to be able to do more. I wanted to be able to help people, but not feel like I'm stuck in one place. And so I used to go around looking at houses like, oh my gosh, you know, those are so pretty. And one day I said, let me just try this out. I made a phone call. Uh, I did a test to see how would I do in real estate, you know, one of those personality tests. And once it came back and said, Lavelle, you would rock this, man, I was in there. I booked my class that day and uh, I started the journey. I just, I wanted to do more. I wanted to be able to help people in a bigger capacity that I wasn't able to do behind the chair. For one, I felt that per personality wise, I, I already had that in the bag, right? I owned a salon. I great with listening to clients and then giving them what they want. And I just felt that I would be able to bring something a little different as far as the understanding. The biggest thing that I heard while being behind the chair, because I had clients who bought homes, was that they felt that their realtor wasn't engaged enough. And being that I am from the family of a builder, my grandfather is a builder in the Caribbean, I knew about real estate from the builder perspective, but I didn't know about it from the realtor perspective. So I said, well, I could do that. I I think I would be great at that. So that's what made me say, let's go. <laughs> I am originally from Dominica. I was born in Dominica and I grew up in St. Thomas. Most people know St. Thomas versus Dominica. <laughs> They say, oh, Dominican Republic? No, no, no. There's a whole other island called Dominica. <laughs> Oh man, there was some resistance. Oh my gosh. Um, so learning the language, right? I, I knew the language of the career field I was in before, uh, but I had to learn the language of real estate. And um, my first year was tough. I, I got my first listing, I was excited about it. And then the seller tried to sell the house from underneath me. <laughs> So definitely a lot of resistance, um, but I, I didn't I, I didn't mind because I felt I knew I was learning. And one thing about me, I like to learn because I feel like the more knowledgeable I am, the better I can service my clients. So I really utilized my first year as like a like a wake up call, so to say, to say Lavelle, this is a part of the business. Can you handle it? And to me, there was no other answer but yes. <laughs> My biggest challenge was finding people that I could help. Uh, I always felt, oh man, you know, you're not from Baltimore, you're not from Maryland. I, I had colleagues around me, I just felt like they were getting clients so easily. And here I come, it seems like I came from under a rock. <laughs> and now I'm trying to compete, you know. So my biggest challenge was, was putting myself out there and knowing how to put myself out there to attract the type of clients that I felt would find me valuable. So it, it took some trial and error, but I'm happy that I did. So the biggest thing I did was attend events. Uh, I attended events and I also placed myself in masterminds, classes, with the type of realtors that were already where I wanted to be. I stalked them a little. <laughs> I don't know if I should use that word, but I paid it. <laughs> I paid attention. Um, whatever classes were available, I made sure I was there because I felt that I had to learn, okay, Lavelle, what do you need to do in order to be here? This is where you want to be. So what do you want to do? And the best way to find out is to surround yourself with people that are where you want to be. So that's what I did. I did events where I made myself be where the type of realtors were that I wanted to be, and I definitely attended classes. Life, ideally for me, would be being able to take care of my family, 
while still helping others. For some reason, helping others is attached to me. I, I sometimes think, you know, is something wrong with me, you know, um, but when you are in tune with your purpose, some people just have to fight a little harder. And I'm willing to fight that fight if it's going to gain me that balance of helping others while still being able to take care of my family. First of all, I am very blessed. I am very blessed to have been through some of the things, you know, coming from the Caribbean, life can be a little different and it's the the dream the american dream to come to a place where uh you can put forth your efforts and it can in return you know give you something to be able to take care of your family so right now i just want to become that all around realtor that can literally not have to worry about, well, Lavelle, how are you going to take care of your daughter? How are you, how are you going to do that and help others? You know, so for right now, I'm in a growing stage and my heart's desire is to be able to live good, right? I'm living, well, my heart's desire is to live great. I'm living good. However, that all around, my daughter being okay, not having to worry about school, not having to worry about how am I gonna take care of this bill, take care of that bill. Um, that's what I'm really looking forward to. Yes, I can go get a nine to five to take care of that, but it wouldn't be fulfilling. So if I'm able to fulfill that and still be able to help others, that's the driving force then I feel like that completeness will happen, is there. My biggest thing is to cross over to be a venture capitalist. I haven't shared this with much people because sometimes when you share your dreams, some, you know, people, some people can't see you being there. The reason why is because as a venture capitalist, you're literally in a position to help other people's dreams come true. Um, all of that to me encompasses Lavelle because I'm such a giver. I'm such a giver and I do it from the heart. I understand the need, however, to help people, especially in the financial aspect, that really have a desire, to, whether it be to start that business. Most people start their business to, to help their family, right? And fulfill that desire. So if I can be a part of that to say, hey, I believe in you. Here you go. Utilize this. Run with it. I would have accomplished so much, even if it's just one person that I end up helping in that realm of life. What I really want to deliver through my brand, for one, care, caring. Every, when you do something from the heart, nothing can beat that. Nothing can beat that because it's authentic. Most people, you know, you exchange, whereas, okay, here's a good or a service, you exchange that for money. Yes, you know it has to happen. However, when it's from the heart, that's when you go the extra mile. You know, that good or service, you put the extra delicacy in it. Um, my brand is whatever I do, I do it from the heart, which means you're getting 1,000%. Someone is trusting me with one of the biggest purchases in their lifetime. And to me, that's huge because I'm your advocate. I'm your advocate. You, you are entrusting me to make sure that this experience is one of a kind. So to me, being a realtor means it's all about you, me providing a service to you 
that transcends beyond just the service, you know? I have so many clients, through the end, they become family. We go on this journey together in life and that experience translate to, wow, love cares so much. She's a, she's a part of the family and that to me means everything. One of the biggest obstacles I feel that I face is making sure that for everything I give and give wholeheartedly, oh, I, I don't even know if this is like a double-edged sword, but the value proposition. Just at the end of it all, that person seeing, believing, feeling, knowing that I gave 1,000% to them and they appreciate that so much that they don't mind saying, hey, go check out love. Go Right now, I feel like the obstacle I have, sometimes I run into some people that they don't necessarily... Um, feel that or understand that per se and so I feel like I give and give and give to the point where I get drained and then I start asking questions that I probably shouldn't be asking like do I care too much and one of my clients said love there's no such thing and I said that's I believe that but why is it that sometimes I don't feel that uh, so being able to align myself with the right people that they just appreciate it because it, it's coming from the heart. What makes me and my business different from anyone else is the value proposition that I provide. Uh, the level of service, for one, not to mention who I've aligned myself with to be able to help me provide that level of service. Because let's be honest, you can't do it all, right? And my goal for my client is to be able to not just sell your home, but be able to make sure that I'm providing you with, whether it's the feedback, whether it's the, the dialogue, um, you know, just keeping you abreast of what's happening. The biggest thing that I get back is the experience. How, how did I make you feel throughout this process? So I am hands-on, I am there, and my team that I bring with me as far as helping me with marketing, making sure that your home is the focal point, that it's all about you. I feel like, to me, that's what I, I bring. Every move I make, I make it with God. I truly believe that everything happens for a reason, whether it be a lesson, a blessing, a learning experience. And as long as I continue to allow him to guide my steps, everything I do will be amazing, even in the tough times because in this industry we run into tough times and you have to know how to be able to deal with it so if i align my steps with him will be great i am so excited about where i am going because of who's involved um one of my biggest things was as I as I go, because I'm I'm not a selfish person, uh, I'm excited about building the true brand because we all have to go through certain experiences, right? I'm excited about building the true brand that can really tell the story of who Lavelle Pierre is and why you should partner with her, why you should work with her. I'm excited about getting into the luxury market. That is something that I have wanted from the time I passed that state board class. <laughs> uh, 
um, I'm excited for the growth just everything that I've been through to get to this point and everything that's going to happen to get to the next point I'm just really really excited to see that picture that I have painted come alive I'm from the Caribbean I'm so used to just hustling and going and going and going but outside of work um, I spend time with my daughter that is you know she has really been the one to help me create a balance because if it wasn't for her I probably would work all the time uh, us watching her grow and seeing the reflection of me in her and her teaching me about myself has been a big part of creating that work-life balance that I feel that I've lacked uh, in the past and so spending a lot of time with her I love to read I love to read and if I'm not reading I'm listening to a to the audiobook <laughs> constant learning I can't help it <laughs> um, and if not I am doing something with my church or I'm singing I'm dancing just something that I love being around positive energy so whatever it is that will keep me positive keep my spirits high uh, that's where that's where you'll find me not giving up <laughs> let me tell you this 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 industry my goodness is tough and the stats for realtors who get their license and who don't make it past the first year was mind-boggling to me so I, i'm excited for that that willpower to say i want this and i'm willing to fight through everything um the integrity well, I should say while keeping the integrity because sometimes you can fight through it and, and you compromise the integrity. But fighting through it while keeping the integrity has been the best part. Being with the right people, so to say, to be pointed in the right direction of what what needs to happen what can happen and the finances you know you you gotta I listen I understand you got to spend money to make money and I'm all about it um, and just putting myself out there more <laughs> putting myself out there more it's a scary feeling you know to go from that place of be okay I'm cool with this to now, listen, you can't be cool with this. You have to do more now. And sometimes more can be scary, you know, because you, you, you don't know. If, if we knew the future, then more wouldn't be scary because we knew we know what will happen. But if I can say what is keeping me, what is standing in front of that light that I can see, that's literally right there, it would be those things. <laughs> yeah uh, my like reading reading is fundamental right so me always being abreast of what's going on I think is a big part that's one of the compliments that I've gotten from my clients is like wow love how do you know well I love to be engaged I love to know what's happening to me that's what helps to make me um, more trustworthy which is a compliment that I've, I've received recently that really touched my heart because I didn't know that that's how people feel about me um, and so and everything else that I, I like to do that's lively it's right in direct correlation with what I do you know this business you have to provide some excitement because there are going to be days where you're going to have to deliver bad news and you're going to have to know how to deliver it but be able to pick that client right back up and give them that that hope and let them know listen everything can be all right and we're going to get through this together so i believe that the hobbies that i like to do that keeps me in good spirits translates right over into what i like to do in real estate
oh my gosh, I was going to own salons by now. You know, I was going to have at least my second or third location by now. And um, that's what I was going to do. My first business plan was all about a salon. And here I am right now as someone who helps people develop their businesses and a realtor who helps people purchase one of the largest investments in their life. It's no way if you would have had a... Uh, uh, a conversation with my 10 year old self that she would have said oh yeah that's where I'm gonna be it's no way <laughs> that's why you you never say never because when you connect with your purpose in life where you think you're gonna be God has something bigger definitely overthinking it right because in the affluent world, from from what I have been exposed to, I just felt that maybe I didn't have the right knowledge, the right skill set. Um, I, I feel like the affluent maybe looked at you know all the materialistic things that you see, right? To to gauge, do I want to work with this person? Forgetting that they also pay attention to the inside. And though I knew I had the inside, I, I felt that I wasn't worthy on the outside to be able to even go in that route for them to trust me to sell their $2.5 million house because, again, I didn't feel that I was uh, knowledgeable enough to just, hey, $2.5 million seller, here I am. Choose me. <laughs> Life has been amazing because I feel that I have really been able to take the necessary steps needed to get to this very point. With Cummings and Company, I remember the conversation I had with Dave when I said, listen, I'm doing this and I want to be able to provide for my daughter. I want to be able to have a balanced life where, again, I'm helping others, but my home is taken care of. And being here, I honestly feel like I've been able to really live that. So I'm grateful for it and I look forward to so many more years, you know, being able to do this. My grandmother, that little lady has a determined soul and I really and truly get that from her and whatever she does, she always reminds me to keep God first um, and she always encourages me to keep on striving. One day I said, Granny, you know, I'm going to be on Miss Oprah's couch one day. And she looked up to heaven. She said, Lord, as long as you let me live to see it. It wasn't a if. It was as if she knew. Like, yes, my child, that will happen. Keep on pressing forward. So many people can be dream killers. And a lot of them can stem from our, right in our backyard, our family, our friends. But with her, ever since I was a little girl, we just had a an amazing bond and that bond has grown. And as I look at her to this day, to see her still moving and shaking, it just encourages me and lets me know that Lavelle, you, you can do this too. You can do this. She's an entrepreneur, you know, she's a seamstress. So she understands the life and just her giving me that motivation means so much cause she's seen, she's been around. I am <laughs> Lavelle Pierre <laughs> with Cummings and Company Realtors. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook as I am Lavelle Pierre. And my telephone number is 410-322-8705. I'm just excited for where I'm going and who I'm going with.